Hi darlings, how are you? This is going to be for my Libras and this is going to be for the week of the 20th through the 25th of November. I will be using my Guardian Angel Messages Tarot and to clarify, I'll be using my Angel Wisdom Tarot. So let's see what messages we have for you Libra. So Libra, this is for you. You got the four air, you're deep in thought. Maybe you're recuperating or you're contemplating about something. Um, you got the release card. Change, endings and new beginnings, transformation. Transformation card. The tower card. There's a life, there's something going to change. It's going to cause you some chaos and confusion, okay? It might have already happened and, you know, it shook things up for you. The six of water, it's going to be something from the past here. We got the five of air. There's conflict in the air. <laughs> Why are my cards like this? The dreamer, a new beginning. Hold on, let me fix these cards real quick. Okay. A new beginning. Whatever took place here in the past. <clears throat> it might have been some type of loss or something, you know. Um, you got the Ten of Air. Endings. And recovery. So no matter what happens, you're going to recover. You got the King of Water. This could be a Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpio within your environment. Or maybe you're just feeling emotionally balanced right now. And the Ten of Water, happy family. So no matter what happened, life-changing situation that happened in the past. You know, think it's something from the past. It did cause some conflict, but there, it had to bring in a new beginning, okay? Um... It has to bring in a new beginning. Remember, whenever there's an ending, it always makes room. Or whenever there's a tower moment, it always makes room for new beginnings. Sometimes things got to break down in order to be rebuilt stronger too. Okay? So I don't, you know. Yes, at the moment of this, the change or whatever it is, you, you feel like this the thing we got to learn to breathe and we got to learn that we can go and step outside and we can ground ourselves and we can start feeling stable. Taking deep breaths, enjoy as much sun as you can as well. Take a walk, you know, step outside with your bare feet in the dirt and just breathe. Put your face to the sun and just enjoy it, you know. It helps me. So on top of the four earth, we got the eight of earth. Are you pretty focused on something? Something maybe to do with money. You manifesting money. And you got the knight of cups and you manifesting love as well. This is past energy. We got the eight of earth. We got the page of earth. And we got the knight of water. Knight of cups. Same difference. You'll see cups on the card if you pay attention. <laughs> oh my, but something came in and ended something here. Something, there was a change. There was an ending. This ending brought you some sadness. This ending brought you some sadness. It was great. It was very sad for you. There might have been someone else um, that was there. I'm not sure. It will heal. That sadness that you feel, it will heal with time, okay? But you need to let go of the past. You got the three of earth. Do, do what you love doing, 
okay? Do what you love doing. Maybe that's the change that you need, okay? Maybe you need to stop looking after everybody and you need to start looking after yourself. You got the two of cups here. There's some kind of unified love here. Some, some ending, I don't know. Transformation. Something with love. What happened with love? It, it made you sad. Endings, transformation, realization, falling in love, or the resurgence of a romantic relationship. You got the three of air, the three of earth, and the two of cups. Don't know what this is. Only you know. Maybe something ended currently to bring back something. I don't know. Because it says resurgence of a romantic relationship. But it's going to cause some chaos and confusion for you. You got the eight of cups. You, got, you feel like you want to move on. You're seeking something more in your life. You got the four of cups here. You deep in thought about this. You're manifesting some things. And you got the seven of fire. You're standing up for yourself and your beliefs. You're facing your battles and everything that's making you stumble or maybe all what happened, what took place here, whatever transformation this was, whatever ending that took place here, maybe you're facing everything. You're, you're head on facing it. And you're going through it. Meaning passing through it. Right? Okay? Because things are going to get better. But sometimes it feels like things get worse before they do get better, you know? It's just a feeling, but it depends on us, you know? A lot of times we create our own realities. Not a lot of times, we do create our own realities. We do. So you got to change this here. <laughs> I can't explain it. I cannot explain it. But when you get it, you will get it. And when you know, you know. We got the Eight of Cups, we got the Four of Cups, and we got the Seven of Fire. The Eight of Cups. Thinking about moving on, looking for something more, and you are doing some thinking there. You got the Four of Cups, you got the Seven of Fire, and you're facing everything head on. All conflicts and everything you're facing head on. There might be current conflicts, you might have made some mistakes, and that's okay. You're human, you know? You be gentle on yourself. You got the Five, there is conflict here. Um, you got the Five of Fire as well. It is Three of Fire. What am I saying? Let me fix this. Oh, I can't eat. Yeah, I can. Oh, where are you at? Oh, where are you? This is the three of fire. So on top of... <laughs> Look. I am human myself. You get it? Ain't nobody perfect here. And ain't nobody judging anyone here. We cannot judge. Mm -mm. Okay. So we got the three of fire. Your plan's making progress. You might be going on some kind of trip or might be coming off of a trip. Um, be patient. You got the ace of air. You're going to have some new um, communication. And the justice card, you're going to find balance. Stand up for what you believe in. Do the right thing. Try to see all sides of the situation. And you will win if you're... <laughs> you will win if your position is one of integrity. Whatever this conflict is that's going on. Okay? You will overcome everything. Just remember. All right? So you got the three of fire, the ace of air, which could be mental clarity, new communication or something, and the justice card. Justice card could mean as well that you're going to find balance, and that could be you as well, Libra. That could be you. Going on a trip, got some new communication, and you found balance. And I said, no, <laughs> yes, found balance found balance. Libra, you found balance. And with this, whatever it is that took place here, there's a new
you know what? I will do that now. I just realized I went straight from the release card to the six of water. And I just talked about the transformation card, but I didn't put no cards on top. Okay. So the transformation card, it brought a shift to your environment. One that made you feel like you needed to move on. You're deep in thought and you're probably manifesting it. You're doing some manifestations. And you're in the past. On top of the transformation card, it brought some a shift. You got to make a decision. You had to make a decision. And you need to watch your step here. You needed to watch your step. Because when you go through a tall moment, you feel like that. I don't know how I missed that card. Wasn't meant for me to say it then, I guess. You're very focused, though. And you're working very hard. However, that's past. You might be on a vacation or you might just come off of a vacation. You got some mental clarity and that's you, Libra. That's the justice card. Scale and weight. And just remember to do the right thing. Do things with good intention. Okay? Don't... If you can't... Okay. So not necessarily like finances. It could be a thought. You know what I mean? To give people just a good thought of happiness, of love, of joy. You know, I mean, you can help people so much by doing little things like that. Hey, what's going on, Libra? The new beginning. My nose is itching. You got the seven of air, you got the page of air, and you got the balance card. On top of the new beginning. The seven of air says a loss of peace of mind or personal freedom. Take caution and be aware of others. A material loss. Make sure you are being honest with yourself. Okay, then you got the page of air. Insightful, blunt, and exciting intellectual challenge. Review all documents very carefully. And you need to find some kind of balance in your environment. There's something off with this new beginning. That's the only thing I can come up with. There's something off with this new beginning. There is a new beginning in the air. To me, it has something to, something deceitful, some kind of deceitful air about it. Page of air, you're being on the alert. You're looking at things. Just watch your documents. Just, just pay attention. Be alert. Really and truly be alert. You got the seven of air, you got the page of air, and you got the balance card. You might be you might be collaborating with others. Successful compromise. On top of um, remember now there was an ending here. There was something that ended. Um, but you're gonna recover. The card says ending recovery and freedom. And remember, you did have the the release and transformation card up there you got the seven of earth you got the moon and you got the knight of earth the seven of earth the moon the knight of earth the seven of earth it talks about the seeds that you planted were well planted and you need to stop worrying you're worrying unnecessarily yes there might be some betrayal in your environment and i do think you're aware of it that's why you are on the alert you will achieve your balance it's totally up to you. The seven of earth, the seeds, seeds are well planted. The moon, you need to listen to your intuition as well. I ain't talking about here, I'm talking about here. Listen to your intuition. There are things going on behind the scenes that you are not aware of. And the night of earth, the finances seem slow and steady. You got to routine them. They're just slow and steady and they're coming. But there's something you're not seeing. You're not seeing, oh, there's a lot going on behind the scenes. You got the seven of earth, you got the moon, and you got the night of earth. Okay? You need to listen to your intuition. You do feel it. You feel it. 
You got the king of um, water, which could be a Pisces, a Cancer, a Scorpio in your environment, or you could be feeling emotionally balanced. You got the king of earth. You got the ten of cups or ten of water and the three of cups or the three of water here. Um, the king of earth, you're feeling very um, accomplished. You feel successful. So there was something that you did. It had something to do maybe with money. Um, pay attention to details, okay? The Knight of Earth says pay attention to details. And the King of Earth, this could be a Virgo, a Taurus, or a Capricorn in your environment. This person is a good, has some good energy, stable energy. You got the Ten of Cups. I don't know if this person is part of your family. But we got the Ten of Cups here. It could be a happy marriage, happily ever after, emotional contentment, a loving relationship. And the Three of Cups, I would say, there's a loving relationship with this um, water energy. Or it could be with the King of Earth. Ha! Ah! Hmm. I felt like it was the water energy, but then it, I don't know. It could be a Virgo, a Taurus, or a Capricorn. Because we got the Ten of Water here as well. And on top of the Ten of Water here, we got the Ten of Air. It's the end of a situation for sure. There's an end of a situation for you. And it will bring relief. Okay? It's not an end that's going to, you know, like wipe you out emotionally. It's going to bring you some relief. Once you get that relief, once that ending is over and you've processed it because listen even if we know that ending is going to give you relief or even if when once we go through it we do feel emotions you know and it's normal to feel emotions about it so just deal with those emotions don't stay there too long all right because right here waiting for you ain't nothing else but a abundance unexpected incoming finances okay Financial security for yourself and your family, inheritance or retirement, peace and contentment in life. Okay? Passing on knowledge. But I say money. And you got the sun card, which is a time of great joy and success for you. There's a whole lot of positive things happening for you. Okay, yeah, they got a little betrayal here. You are aware of it. That's why you are on the alert. All right, you got the justice card, which is gonna be you, and you know you gotta do the right thing. All right. And it's totally up to you how this takes place. But there was a big change not too long ago in your life. I do love you all. You take care of yourselves. And I will chat with you soon.